guys, Tiamra here. So have you started an online beauty supply store or you have your hair extension company and you still aren't seeing the sales that you thought you would be seeing? Well, I'm gonna be sharing with you three tips to help you get more sales in your business. So if you need those tips, then stay tuned. <laughs> here and I am going to be sharing with you today three tips that will help you get more sales in your online beauty supply store or your hair extension company um, because so many times that's where we're stuck right you've been posting you've been telling people you've been passing out flyers but you're still not getting the sales that you thought you should so I hope that the tips that I give you today will help you to better understand how to market to your customer and to get those sales rolling in so make sure you stay tuned all right so number one is to identify your target market. Okay, a lot of people stay stuck in this or they don't know or you're trying to market to everybody and you can't sell to everybody, okay? You cannot sell to everybody. You have to narrow it down to who you want to serve. Who is your marketing going to, to service? Who is it going to be um, visual to, you know? So for example, I always tell people, you know, you can't sell to everybody because if you put out a picture or an image or a video of someone using a product, um, and say, you know, my mom comes across your your image, she may not think it's for her if it doesn't look like someone like her, right? If it's not someone of her age or someone in her, you know, class status or education background, if she doesn't feel like she can relate to them, then she's going to scroll right by it. And that's what your customer is thinking. If they're seeing posts that you're doing and, um, you know, you're posting pictures of, of different people and women and stuff and they don't, they can't relate to the pictures that you're posting, they're not your customer. So that's why it's important for you to narrow down who your target market is. What is their age range? And I would say a 10 year age range is good. What is their education? Where are they from? What do they do? How much money do they make? How often are they buying beauty? products and then you scale it down to who they are and market to them specifically what kind of things do they like to do um, are they single are they married are they fit do they have a family do they have kids are they busy moms are they um, men who need help with their you know to help with their barbering things you know you know there's so many options and you really need to narrow it down so that your mark your target market or your um or customer knows who you're talking to okay they need to be to know that you are talking to them so narrow that di down and identify who they are number two is to show more results and feedback um, a lot of us like to post just pictures of the products or pictures of bundles like you'll just post a picture of this bundle here and say hair for sale or you'll post a picture of your Shea Moisture bottle or the Main Choice bottle and say, hey, we've got brand products here, brand name products here. But again, that doesn't tell me anything about what that product's gonna do for me. Um, how will it help my hair? How will it help my kid's hair? How will it help my husband's hair? How will it help the, the beard? How will it help the mustache? How will this help my family life? Is this simple to use? Is it easier to use? You know, you gotta show us how that works. And so you have to get very creative on how you do that. Maybe you need to be doing some videos on your own. Maybe you need to um, find a brand ambassador who's gonna do some videos for you um, or take some images for you, but they need to be very crisp, clear, clean videos and images that will share with us the results of your products. Give some feedback. If you have some family members who have used the products or they purchased from you, share their testimonials, share their 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 um, their opinion of your products with your customers so that they, you know, other people can see, oh, people like this product. I see what's going on here, you know? And then, you know, they'll, they may get on board. Okay. People like feedback and that's what they rely on nowadays is what the social, what other people have to say. That's the point of social media. So show more of that um, when you're posting and stop focusing on product pictures and flyers that are all decorated and stuff. Give me a video, give me a finished product of the product of the of your hair or whatever and tell me what was used for that so I know what to purchase. All right. Now, number three, finally, is to make your checkout process longer. For those of you who may have an online beauty supply store, even if they're a hair extension company, you may have a lot of products on your on your website. And so when someone goes and clicks on your link, they may see a lot of products there and get overwhelmed, which may take them off your page. Okay, so you don't want to overwhelm your customer. So you can use links like Linktree or Link in Bio or LNK.bio, that's link link bio like that. 
you can use those different things to direct people to the products that you're using. So say you do a video with your kinky curly hair, right? And you say that they can go and purchase that, but you offer other products. You can use your link tree and tell people to go click the link in your bio and they can get directed straight to the kinky curly hair. So they don't have to search through your site. Same thing with the beauty supply store. If you are marketing a Camille Rose product, but you just happen to have main choice on your front page or something, do a link tree or do one of those types of links and lead them directly to the product that you're marketing so they don't have to search for the product and then get overwhelmed and then get off of your website, okay? So that may help as well. Just don't tell them to go click on your website to the homepage. Give them directly, give them the link directly to where they need to go so that they can create, uh, so that they can purchase from you and make it an easier process because if they get overwhelmed, they're getting off guaranteed. All right. So make sure you take those three, st those three tips and apply them to your business and see what happens. If you haven't figured out your target market, if you have no clue, um, you know what your brand is all about, your mission statement, you haven't really figured that out. You really don't know what to do with your sales and how to, um, you know, market your business or anything. Uh, make sure you go and grab your copy of the online beauty supply business plan um, and there's a sales blueprint in here too for consistent daily sales this is available on my website I'll leave the link down below but you can go and grab this this will um, help you to get your target market to um, get your vision down your mission statement and exactly what you're doing and it gives examples so you're not stuck in the dark on exactly what to say and what to do or an example of how this works so that that's also included in here and then you also have sales examples on how um, how to get sales and different ideas that you can do with your beauty supply store online um, and that can be applied to your hair extension business as well um, and, but you can go ahead and go grab this this again on the link down below at my website mainelements.com and um, go get your online beauty supply business plan if you haven't started your business yet and you are interested in starting an online beauty supply store I can also help you with that you can get access to over 4,000 products a customized website um, you can purchase wholesale purchase products like main choice Cantu, Camille Rose kaleidoscope products you'll be able to purchase all that at wholesale prices plus you can add extra streams of income like by app by offering wholesale to other uh, companies in your area, salons, barbershops, and other beauty supply stores. You can offer them wholesale products. Um, and you can help others start their beauty supply store as well. So you can grab a free training down below as well. That link is below. And you can go ahead and get more information on starting your beauty supply store. And by starting your beauty supply store at that level and joining with me, you will get access to the beauty supply school where I will help you market your business and grow a brand so that people will want to purchase from you. All right, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and grab that link down below. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications forever for whenever I post a video. And I look forward to working with you. Drop your questions down below as well, and I'll talk to you soon.